Hi everyone! I have a read aloud for you today, and it is such a neat book. So first of all, I'm geeking out because it's really pretty. This is the cover um, underneath the underneath the jacket. Um, the inside pages are really pretty and polka dotted. This book is called Just Because by Mac Barnett, illustrated by Isabel Arsenault. Why is the ocean blue? Every night when you go to sleep, the fish take out guitars. They sing sad songs and cry blue tears. So wait a minute. Is this a fiction book or a non-fiction book? Is that true? Is that really why the ocean is blue? No, it's not. They're making, they're making it up. So they're making up a reason that it's blue. So this is a fiction book, a made-up story. But it's still kind of pretty. What is the rain? The tears of flying fish. Why do the leaves change color? Have you ever wondered some of these things before? I know I have. In the autumn, when the world gets colder, the trees try to keep warm by setting quiet little fires in their leaves. By winter, their branches have all burned up. Why do birds fly south for the winter? To fetch new leaves for the trees. Obviously. What happened to the dinosaurs? Millions of years ago, thousands of asteroids fell on the Earth. That part is true. But the dinosaurs had planned for this. They fastened themselves to big balloons, floated up to space, and stayed there. Wouldn't that make a neat story, dinosaurs in space? What are black holes? The mouths of the dinosaurs. He's eating a car. <gasps> What's a volcano? How do you tame a horse? How big is a woolly mammoth? How are the pyramids built? What's an echo? How tall is the tallest mountain? Why do we sneeze? What's a moon? What's a rainbow? What's lightning? How does an egg become a chicken? It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> Why do we have to sleep? Because there are some things we can only see with our eyes closed. And those are all her dreams. This kiddo has a lot of questions about everything. Have you guys ever wondered about some of those? My challenge to you is two, two challenges. The first challenge is to, like this book, make up an answer for some of these questions. So make up your own answer for why is the ocean blue. Um, and my second challenge to you is to do some research and learn real things like what is rain and where does it come from. You could do some science research, learn about the water cycle. Um, so this book helps us with some science and also with some imagination. So go imagine.